Welcome to Movie Insight Global. Today I am going to explain an American action comedy film called Red Notice. Spoilers ahead. Watch and enjoy. The movie begins with a brief story on the tale of Cleopatra and Mark Antony about 2,000 years ago. On their wedding day, he presented her with three golden bejeweled eggs as a symbol of his love for her. After their deaths, the eggs were hidden for centuries and believed to be mere myths, but two of the eggs were later unearthed in 1907 by a farmer, while the third remained hidden in secrecy. In the present day, in Rome, one of the golden eggs is kept on display at the museum. A special FBI agent named John Hartley joins Interpol inspector named Doss at the museum after he gets the information that the wanted art thief will come to loot the golden egg. Forty hours ago, Hartley gets the information from a source known as the Bishop that the art thief named Nolan Booth will come to the museum and loot the golden eggs. They speak to the museum director as he leads them to the golden eggs on display before a crowd of tourists. Hartley then does a thermal reading of the golden egg and then uses a kid's coke can to reveal that the egg on display is a fake. After seeing this, it means that the real golden egg is already stolen, while Doss orders the place to be locked down while a man, who is the art thief known as Booth, tries to run out before the lockdown. Hartley spots him and he hurries to chase on after him but Hartley misses when the door closes. Booth almost leaves the museum but he faces Doss and he throws a smoke bomb to escape. The guards chase him but he loses them by climbing scaffolding and causing it to collapse. Booth thinks now he is safe, but Hartley corners him and Hartley points the gun on him and he demands the backpack from Booth as well. Booth gives his backpack to Hartley. Booth knocks the gun out of Hartley's hand and both fall out a window. The two still try to take the backpack, but Booth manages to go down a slide and run into town. Booth rides off on a motorcycle to escape. But as Hartley tries to chase him in a car, he gets into a traffic accident with another car and Booth gets away. Days later in Bali, Booth takes the golden egg to his house. In his house, Hartley finds Booth and brings out the agents to arrest him and secure the golden egg. Hartley learns that Booth is an international art thief, and he used to loot over 18 countries. In addition, Hartley learns his father is a Swiss cop and his mother is an American professor. After that, as the team takes Booth away, one lady agent switches out the egg for a fake one. Hartley goes back to Rome and wants to return to America after he thinks the mission was a success. Doss finds him there. She shows him the fake egg that was replaced after shattering it on the floor. Doss also notes that an $8 million wire transfer was sent to a Swiss bank account in Hartley's name. Doss has Hartley arrested. Hartley is sent to a Russian prison where he finds that Booth is his cellmate. Hartley deduces that he was set up by the bishop. Booth informs him that whoever is in possession of the three golden eggs must deliver them to an Egyptian billionaire by the eve of his daughter's wedding for a payment of $300 million. For this reason, Booth is one of the thieves who want to get all the golden eggs as well. Booth tells Hartley if the bishop has one golden egg, she didn't get the reward, except she gets all the three. Booth knows that the second golden egg is in the possession of an international arms dealer known as Sato Bochi. Booth realizes that he has a chance to get the second egg from Bochi, which would be during one of his famous parties. Moments later, Booth draws attention to the inmates by yelling out to the whole cafeteria that Hartley is not a cop anymore. This prompts a large inmate Drago to stand up and challenge Hartley because every inmate always hates the cop. Although Hartley tells Drago that he doesn't want trouble, Drago hits him on his face in front of everyone before guards bring him and Booth back to their cell. In their cell, Hartley tells Booth that he will kill him if he does this again. Immediately, the guards take them to one place and claim now the captain wants to meet them. There, they are brought to meet the bishop, not the captain, and she turns out to be the undercover agent who swapped out the golden eggs. She says that she transferred money to an account under Hartley's name, and also that she has been one step ahead of Booth to become the world's number one art thief. Bishop says that now she has one golden egg and soon, she will get the second egg. Bishop says that Booth knows where the location of the third egg is and will let him out of there and provide him 10% of $300 million. Booth refuses to tell her anything, so she orders the guards to put Hartley and Booth in hard labor. Later, Hartley suggests he and Booth work together to beat Bishop and if Booth helps him to make Bishop be imprisoned, then Booth will be the number one art thief in the world, instead of Bishop. While trying to come up with a plan, Hartley makes the most of his time having to work with Booth. One night in their cell, Hartley asks Booth about his father, because he knew that Booth's father was a Swiss police captain, so he wonders how a policeman's son would go on to become a thief. Booth says that his father was a jerk, who cared more about his work than he did his own son. 
When his father believed that Booth lost a beloved watch of his, his father didn't talk to him for a year, until he discovered it was hidden behind some paperwork, but Booth's father didn't apologize to him. During talking, we can know that now Booth and Hartley are closer. The next morning, Booth and Hartley enact their plan when Booth throws a bar of soap into a cleaning solution and to create an explosion. In the ensuing chaos, they fight off the guards before making their way out using a guard's badge. And he reveals that when Hartley fought with the inmate, he stole from the guard. After that, the two run to face the rock wall, but Booth pulls a small rock from the wall, causing the wall to break. However, they still can't escape because it wasn't the way out, but it is a deep fall, and the two manage to escape by walking on the ledge of the wall. Later, they get the opportunity to knock a guard and take the gun to defend themselves, while Booth runs across the bridge toward the helicopter. Hartley then tries to cross the bridge toward the helicopter, but the guard fires the missile, causing him almost drop down. As Hartley tries to climb up the bridge, Booth fires the helicopter's machine guns at the guards. He then starts flying away until Hartley manages to climb up and jump into the helicopter. The guards attempt to fire a missile at them, but Hartley manages to have it fly through the helicopter and hit a mountain instead, they then make their getaway. In London, Bishop is keeping an agent captive in his office until she uses his computer to send a message to Doss, which informs her that Hartley and Booth are on the run. While Bishop uses the computer, the agent trips an alarm however the responding agent is knocked out by her as well. She then threatens the first agent to tell a lie about what happened or she will get to his loved ones and reveal his darkest secrets to them. Meanwhile, Booth gets help from a contact named Tamway to pick him and Hartley up and take them on a plane to Sato Voci's place in Valencia. On the plane, Booth comes up with a plan to get into Voci's safe, which only opens with his thumbprint and facial recognition software called the Deepfake, which Booth is prepared for with his own tech. Later, they show up at the party, which is a masquerade ball, so they can get by undetected. Hartley pretends to be the guest, while Booth pretends to be the waiter. Bishop is there already and Hartley goes to talk to her. Hartley says that he has come here not to steal the second golden egg, but to clear his name. He then follows her and dances with her to avoid drawing negative attention. Bochi gives his glass to Booth before going to dance with Bishop, so now Booth can get his thumbprint from the glass. Voci then requests Bishop to dance, while Hartley leaves. He gets the opportunity to get his phone as well. Booth takes a glass containing Voci's thumbprint before he and Hartley make their way to his safe room. After some clumsiness, the two find the safe room and they do it by their plan like, using the thumbprint to open the phone, using the phone password to open the safe door, and finally using the deepfake to open the safe room. The plan is almost successful, but they were spotted by Doss, who holds a gun to them and orders Hartley to arrest Booth if he really is on the side of the law. Hartley pretends to capture Booth, but he disarms Doss before he and Booth get inside the safe room and lock it. The two are toward the golden egg, but Bishop has somehow already made her way inside before them. The trio starts to fight for the second golden egg by using the antique weapons that are put in there. Even though Hartley and Booth are a team, they can't defeat her. During that time, Voci knows that his safe room is breached by someone and he leads his men to check. At the same time, Bishop defeats Booth and Hartley and is taken captive before Voci and his men arrive. When Voci and his men arrive, it turns out that Bishop is working for Voci. After that, Bishop interrogates Hartley with electric cables for forcing him to tell her the whereabouts of the third egg. She harms Hartley until when Voci nearly strangles Hartley making Booth relent and say that the egg is in a pyramid in Cairo. When it looks like Voci and Bishop are about to head off together, Voci collapses after she spiked his drink. It turns out that Bishop betrays him and her plan to get all the golden eggs for herself. After she leaves, Voci wakes up but has his vision impaired. He fires wildly at Hartley and Booth to kill them but instead, he breaks Hartley's cuff, making him free. After that, Hartley knocks out Voci again and he wants to leave alone to chase after Bishop but Booth tells him that the third golden eggs place is the lie. After knowing this, Hartley frees Booth, because he realizes that Bishop will return for the third egg. They try to escape but end up in the bullfighting arena outside. Hartley gets knocked around a couple of times, and Voci tries to shoot at them again, but he is knocked out by the bull before the guys flee. Later, the two make it onto a train while Booth admits he lied about the third egg's location. After knowing this, Hartley nearly throws him off the train until he relents and pulls him back in. Hartley then tells Booth about his father, who was a con man that just disappeared from his life when he was 13. It means Hartley's father is a con man so he becomes a cop, and Booth's father is a good cop, but he becomes a thief. Hartley then requests Booth to help him arrest Bishop because he wants to clear his name and exchange with Booth to be a top thief. 
Booth then tells Hartley a little history about the third golden egg. He reveals the story of a Nazi art collector named Rudolf Seich, who always keeps stolen Nazi artifacts. Based on the rumors, Rudolf travels from Germany to Argentina with all his property, including the golden egg. Later, this story is to be the tale and Rudolf's property is to be the treasure. Among the treasure hunters, Booth's father is one of them. His father always spent his weekends researching for it but doesn't get the information back. Booth found out that the watch that his father loved so much, which had once belonged to Rudolf, and the watch has the location of the third egg and he knows the real place in Argentina. After that, they go to Argentina, where they find a passageway to get the third golden egg. After three days pass, Hartley starts to suspect that maybe the third golden egg was stolen by someone. Hartley gets angry and breaks the compass to the ground, making a noise like a metal. Immediately, they start to clear the area and it reveals that the place is the secret bunker. After that, Hartley and Booth manage to go inside the bunker, while Booth finds the key to lock the metal door which fits with his father's watch. He then takes the watch to put on the metal door, and it works and they go inside the room. There Booth finds an antique Mercedes and later, Booth notices a secret box with the Nazi's mark. He opens it and shows up the golden egg in the box. After they find the egg, Bishop arrives and she reveals that she followed them after they left Bochi. She demands the golden egg from them, but immediately Das and her team of agents arrive. A shootout ensues, causing Bishop, Booth, and Hartley to escape. The team manages toward an antique Mercedes and they drive the car away from the agents. The agents find some antique cars as well, which helps them to chase. While escaping, Bishop and Das struggle for the golden egg during the chase, but Booth finally manages to get it back. Soon, the three ride their car out of the cave, but falls down the waterfall, landing in a lake at the bottom. Das sees this, and she decides to stop chasing them. Booth grabs the egg and starts to leave, but he can't find Hartley and Bishop. Not wanting to let Hartley die, Booth attempts to go into the water to save him, but Hartley turns out to be fine. Hartley spots that Booth decides to put the golden egg on the land, and worries about him, which means that now he has a real friend. Bishop swims to shore, and Booth tells her that now she is a loser because she can't get all the golden eggs. But when it looks like Hartley is about to arrest her, they instead kiss. They then reveal that Hartley was working with Bishop the whole time, as they are a couple who have been planning the egg heist from the beginning and used Booth to lead them to the third egg. The couple leaves him cuffed to a tree before making their getaway. Later, Hartley and Bishop go to Cairo where the billionaire is hosting his daughter's wedding, presenting her not only with the three eggs, but also a special musical performance from Ed Sheeran. Meanwhile, Doss and her agents crash the party and arrest the billionaire. In addition, Ed Sheeran is also arrested because he tried to fight the guards, while Hartley and Bishop get away quietly after their payment has already been secured. Six months later, the couple is on a boat when they are found by Booth. He informs them that he tipped off Doss about the couple's scheme, and she has their whole $300 million frozen in their accounts. Booth offers them a chance to team up with him on another bigger score, or he will leave them to be arrested. With no other choice, Hartley and Bishop reluctantly agree. Doss and her agents arrive too late and find neither of them. She goes back to her office and issues a red notice on all three criminals. In the last scene, the trio arrives in Paris at the location of their next big score, the Louvre. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.